Hey guys, Jack here, aka Big Jack Films, and welcome to this special video. Normally this time of year I would do a highlight reel of some of the best moments of 2018. Well, to be honest, because this year was full of its ups and downs, I decided to pretty much do an over-review of the year, and kind of give you sort of a standard review of both the good, the bad, and overall experience of 2018. And let me tell you guys, there's a lot that happened for us here on the channel. And if you're wondering why I'm pre-recording this, it is mostly because there's some stuff in here I'm afraid to speak of on camera, so just bear that in mind when you're watching this. Maybe next year I'll have some time to do a highlight reel, but for now this is pretty much the final video of 2018. Also bear in mind guys that I'm recording this while we're still in production on the last two big videos of the year, so if it sounds kind of non-scripted, it's because it's not scripted. So let's talk about the good stuff, and boy there was a lot that happened this year. I mean, we pretty much overhauled on three major large series for the Big Jack Films reviews. For starters, we had a prologue to season four, which surprisingly did very well considering it's more of a short film than it is a review. It was also a project I wanted to do to kind of bridge the gap between seasons three and four and answer some of the questions that happened in between. At some point I'll be doing more written stories of what happened in between, and those will eventually go on my fanfiction page, but for now this short film was overall a pleasant experience and really drove the emotion across. As for King Kong, man, there was a lot of stuff that happened this year, especially given it was the 85th anniversary of the original film. We celebrated 85 years of Kong, of course, in March, and even wrapped up the first half of season four with a ton of fan film reviews, including my own, which was also hilarious to make fun of my own content. But it was just overall a great experience to watch all these fan films and see all the creativity that went into making them. We had Bradley Dunn produce a ton of great content for the channel, including some new 16-bit shows, and a spin-off review from our Star Wars Saga reviews. He's been overall a great help in putting more content out on the channel, and we hope to work with him more in the future. We did our first interview with a major guest, Mary Gullerman, who had some really great insights on John Gullerman as a director and the overall experience making those two Kong films. During the time we were working on the King Kong fan films was also the time we got our first wave of Star Wars reviews up with the original trilogy. Now this was one of our biggest projects of the year, taking about a year to make overall. I'm not kidding, we started production in the summer of 2017 just to have enough time to finish all the storylines and action sequences we wanted to include. And while the production was a bit stressful, it was overall a fantastic experience. I mean, the battle in Toronto, need I say more of how awesome that is. It was just a fun ride reviewing the Star Wars trilogy, and I can't wait to continue it with the prequel trilogy as we start production in 2019 for a 2020 release date, so definitely look forward to that. And while there wasn't many solo reviews in the Big Jack Films reviews, we did manage to get a 20th anniversary retrospective of The Mask of Zorro together. Zorro as a character is one of my favorite heroes in literature, and The Mask of Zorro is one of my favorite action movies, so it was finally great to talk about a film I've been wanting to discuss for quite a while, as well as a character that I think really needs more attention nowadays. I also gotta give major props to the cast and crew in all of these reviews, because without them, we wouldn't have as big of a story to tell. Another set of reviews, while late on the time frame, was of course the Jurassic Park Legacy reviews. It was fun to finally get another great video game review out there, as well as talk about other parts of the Jurassic Park franchise that I kinda wanted to show and tell about. And I'll be honest and say that I think the Fallen Kingdom review came out pretty damn well, especially with the climax. My ideal scenario was pretty much to give the fans what they wanted from the movie itself, in which the movie couldn't provide. I always try to think about what the fans want, as well as what I want, and try to balance it out pretty well and I think that's why the Jurassic Park Legacy reviews, as well as the majority of reviews this year, came out pretty damn solid. And aside from the reviews, it was also great to put out some more content out there like opening nights, pickup vlogs, starting up fan mail which I never thought I would get, as well as doing some pretty impressive convention adventures. I will say out of all the conventions I went to this year, my personal favorite was G-Fest. Just the fact that I met over 50 fans, which is something I thought I would never experience, was a real treat to behold. So yeah, this year overall had some pretty positive experiences but it isn't without some negative points. The reason season four had to be cut in half into two years was mostly because of a major contractual production I was involved in that pretty much overall affected my schedule. For those who might have not known, and this was something I had to keep under wraps because I signed a non-disclosure agreement, was being on the show Employable Me. For those who don't know, Employable Me is an independent television series that provides people to pretty much get their dream job. The overall experience of being on a legit television show was honestly kind of exciting and 
some areas, but it also had its negative sides given I was dealing with a lot of emotional stress and just prepping for when they would come in and shoot just really affected my schedule and left me in kind of a moody place. But aside from the television series and my schedule being completely out of whack, 2018 was kind of a letdown year. I mean, granted it wasn't as bad as 2016, that was probably the worst year in human history, but at the same time, this was kind of a strikeout for a lot of people. But given the year is coming to an end, I just want to think of the positive moments I had overall this year. And overall, guys, 2018 was a real learning experience for me and actually had me grow a lot more as a person. The fact that I met so many people this year who admired my work and had some amazing times with great friends proved overall that 2018 wasn't as much of a shit show as we kind of make it out to be. If you look at it from a negative perspective, you're not going to have many fond memories with it. But if you think about the highlights that happened this year, I'd say overall this year is a good 8 out of 10. It wasn't perfect, it had its missteps, but there were some great moments in it. But for us here at Big Jack Films, we've got a ton of new ideas to throw at you in 2019. More reviews, more shorts, more films, more skits. There's a lot to look forward to this coming year, and we can't wait to experience it with all of you. So as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Films signing off. Have a happy new year, and here's to an amazing 2019.